represent yourself in the business world will have a direct effect on your advancement opportunities and how you are treated by others. If you want to present yourself in the best possible professional way to ensure that you're treated the way you want to be treated, stick around for my take on presenting yourself properly on the road. Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode with Trainer Allen, your OTR truck driving instructor. All right, today we're talking about something that uh, a lot of people don't like to talk about, um, and a lot of people disagree with me. So take what I have to say with a grain of salt. Understand I've been out here 20 years, though. Um, but the first thing that you need to understand is that when you're out here as a professional truck driver, you are just that. You are a professional. And you need to look and act like it. Like it or not, first impressions are often the most enduring and in a lot a lot of times they're the only impressions that people get of us um, and uh, those first impressions are made uh, when we first see someone and then when we first interact with them so keep that in mind um, remember you are representing not just yourself uh, when you're out on the road in a company's truck or even in your own truck if that you know has a company name on the side of it whether you're leased or even if you're an independent um, you still want to represent your company appropriately all right so there are three places that we need to look at um, and that is first of all attitude um, attitude gives a big first impression second proper hygiene and thirdly proper attire um, and we're going to start with the big one first, attitude. Uh, we've all got our own attitudes. We've all got our own concept of what's uh, what the best attitude is to have, whatever. Um, but there are some general rules of thumb that you need to keep in mind. Um, first of all, always be honest with people, um, customers. Uh, be honest, but be respect, re respectful and be tactful. Um, you don't always need to say the first thing that pops into your mind. You really don't. Um, another thing is that nobody likes a smart aleck. Um, well, except their closest friends who get a lot of laughs, right? But sometimes, seriously though, our, our joking can be seen as being a smart aleck to some and uh, can, can be looked at as offensive if they don't know us personally. And most people that you're going to come in contact with out on the road whether it be at a terminal or at a customer location, they don't know you um, personally. So make sure that the way that you're interacting with them shows that you have a good attitude. Um, speak professionally in those business settings. Um, you don't need coarse joking. You don't need um, anything like that. Just be respectful and be professional. Um, and um, another thing that I want to say about attitude is when you walk into a place, when you walk up to a person, put a smile on your face. I don't care if you don't feel like smiling. And don't say, oh, that's fake. No, that's being an adult is what that's being, okay? It's being an adult and it's being a business person, okay? Don't go in with a bad attitude. Don't go in hemming and hauling and whining and crying. No. Okay, go in with a good attitude, be positive, and keep a smile on your face. Okay, um, the more positive you can be, the more positive, more positivity you're going to get back in return from the people that you're talking to. So be positive, keep that smile on your face, um, be honest, be respectful, be tactful, um, and be professional. Okay, all right. Through that, proper hygiene. Okay, this is this is a big one right here. Um, haircut. Yep, I'm going to go through all the hygiene stuff, so bear with me. Um, haircut. Uh, keep it professional. Um, you know, you're not you're not out on the road to make a fashion statement. Okay, you're not in business to make a fashion statement. Um, if you need to need to make a fashion statement of of some, of some sort, find another way. Okay, um, your haircut isn't the way to do it, but keep it keep it nicely trimmed. Okay. Um, and that's that's the main thing. Keep it nicely trimmed. Make it look presentable. Um, secondly, uh, you have a beard, mustache, whatever. 
Um, you don't necessarily need to keep it short, though more and more companies now are requiring that you keep it uh, short. Um, but definitely keep it clean, keep it trimmed. You know, again, you want it to look professional. You want it to look nice um, because you are in a professional setting. So definitely keep that in mind. Nails, keep your nails cut and trimmed. Yeah, when you're going into a uh, customer or you're going into a terminal, you know, take a minute, just look at your nails, you know. I mean, if you got a bunch of dirt and grossness up underneath them, keep a file handy or something, just clean them out. I mean, you know, there's no reason to go in looking dirty, even if the rest of your body's clean. Um, but, yeah, keep those keep those nails cut and trimmed. All right. Shower. <laughs> Can't say it enough. Take a shower. Um, now, for those of you who are new drivers, you may not know this yet, but when you're out on the road, you don't always get a chance to shower every day. And I know at home, most of us are used to taking a shower, you know, at least once a day. Maybe every other day if we're just laying around the house doing nothing, right? Um, out on the road, you know, hygiene is so important. Um, and again, you know, the the first the first impressions mean a lot, right? And if you walk into a place smelling like B.O., that's not a good first impression. So take a shower. Nobody wants to smell your body odor. And you might not even smell it. Usually the person sitting in the body odor doesn't smell their own body odor, right? But, yeah, make sure you keep yourself clean. Um, again, taking a shower isn't always possible daily. If it is, great, do it. If it's not, you know, that's just the way it goes. Um, in the summer, try not to go past two days without taking a shower because in the summer you're more likely to get sweaty, you know, just getting out and doing normal things, and that, you know, starts to put off that body odor. Um, but uh, winter, you can go three days. Um, as long as you're not doing a lot of heavy lifting, if you're, you know, if, if you are unloading your trailer or uh, your unloading stops or loading stops by hand, you need your shower every day, plain and simple, because by the second day, you're ripe. <laughs> um, so, yeah, uh, keep yourself clean. Um, if you're not in a position where you're going to be unloading or loading your uh, your own trailers, uh, if you're not going to be out getting hot and sweaty, whatever, um, you know, keep keep body wipes around. Um, you know, these are probably the trucker's biggest friend, those body wipes or baby wipes, whatever. Um, and, you know, on the days where, you, you know, you can't shower or you really don't need a shower, um, use one of those. Take care of the, you know, the big places. You know what I'm talking about. Uh, TPA, right? Um, make sure make sure those are taken care of um, so that you don't go around stinking because nobody wants to smell you and you don't want to smell you so uh, yeah take care of that okay and we're on to number three we talked about attitude we've talked about hygiene now let's talk about attire you know what are you gonna wear how do you wear it whatever what you wear between terminals or between terminals and customers, whatever, um, is really your business. But when you're at terminals or you're at customer locations, you are representing your company. Um, and you should look your business best, you know, not your going out on Friday night best. You know, don't, there's no reason for you to look the way you're going to look going out to the club. All right. Now, what you do if, you, if you're down on a Friday or Saturday night and you want to get feet up club style to go out do whatever do that by all means we all need to blow off a little bit of steam sometimes if that's what you enjoy doing go do it but keep that attire for those times right now you are at a customer you are at a terminal you need to dress professionally um, so what does that look like well I think most of us would call it business casual um, and as most of you know, business casual is generally slacks or nice, decent jeans or shorts and a shirt that's not terrible. Um, T-shirts are okay, um, but, uh, you know, no holes, no tears, that kind of thing. But ultimately, you know, again... You're not going to win any brownie points 
by looking like a renegade or otherwise trying to make a fashion statement out here. Um, and if you really don't care what anyone thinks about how you look, don't expect to advance in business or life unless you are in the fashion industry. Um, if you're a tattoo artist, body piercer, clothing designer, or model, those are about the only places of business that fashion statements are going to get you ahead in life, um, and certainly in a business world. Uh, otherwise, look business professional for the industry and occupation that you're in. Um, in this case, we're talking about trucking. So here's what that looks like. If you wear a hat, generally you can pretty much wear whatever you want, whatever style you want to. Um, now, uh, some companies uh, have different rules on this, so this is something that you definitely want to pay attention to. Um, but generally, whatever hat you decide to wear is fine, so long as there's nothing on it that's vulgar, um, no profanity, nudity, or anything offensive. Um, so yeah, you're uh, you're pretty much good with whatever hat you want to wear as long as you stay inside those basic parameters. Um, shirts, again, no holes, no tears. T-shirt is okay, uh, but it needs to be nice. No holes, no tears. Um, Shirts with profanity, nudity, nudity, or, again, otherwise offensive prints should not be worn at terminals or customer locations. You want to wear them between? That's between you and your company. Again, a lot of companies are even cracking down on that between places because you are on their truck. You are still somewhat representing their company. So, you know, they, they want you to look decent and presentable to uh, the general population. Um Pants, again, no holes, no tears. Uh, jeans, slacks, even shorts are okay in most places. Uh, you will find that some customers don't want you on their property with shorts on. Um, some companies don't want you in shorts uh, at the terminals. Um, again, uh, no fashion statements here, guys. Uh, you don't need to be wearing, wearing pants that have uh, fake rips in them or, you know, whatever handprints on the on the on the butt uh fadings that fade up into your crotch area we're not out here to make a fashion statement you want to wear stuff like that you wear stuff like that in a non-professional area like when you go out on friday or saturday night um you don't need to be wearing big belt buckles okay if you wear a belt and many of us do if we're wearing jeans or any pants keep it you know decent size you know it doesn't need to cover half your body um you know again no fashion statements uh pants half down don't do it you know um it's that's a fashion statement that needs to be kept outside of the business world if if you want to wear your pants like that between point a and point b that's your business okay but as soon as somebody sees you stepping out of that truck that you're in you're representing the company that you're driving for. Always keep that in mind. Um, so yeah, uh, again, <laughs> you're in the business world, not a place to make a fashion statement. Footwear. Do not wear sandals or flip-flops to drive in. And yes, you're going to see drivers out there doing it. But it's not safe, and it's really not even legal. Um, so yeah, uh, don't wear sandals or flip-flops to drive in. Always wear a closed-toe shoe when driving. Um, Still-toed shoes or boots um, are best at most customers. You don't have to get an expensive pair of still-toed boots, okay? You can get a, a very inexpensive pair of still-toed shoes or boots at Walmart for 25 30 bucks. Get them, okay? Uh, a lot of customers require... You know, if you're going to be out on the de dock or whatever for any reason, which you may have to be, you need to have still toads on. Um, uh, in between point A and point B, in between customers, terminals, whatever, you know, wear what you want as far as your shoes go. Um, again, if you're driving, stay away from sandals, stay away from flip-flops. Heels are not generally recommended. Um, cowboy boots... Um, if you are going to wear them, should have proper traction on the bottoms, not the slick sole boots. Um, those are not acceptable for getting in and out of the truck regularly. Um, you can slip and 
hurt yourself. So piercings. All right, guys. Ears are pretty much generally acceptable universally anymore. Anything else pierced is not generally acceptable. When you are at a customer location, you're at a terminal or whatever, take the couple minutes before you get there to remove any other types of piercings that you may have that can be seen. Um, they're just, they are not a good professional look. Um, m matter of fact, a lot of companies anymore are requiring that you take them out at terminal or customer locations. Um, tattoos. If at all possible, cover your tattoos while at terminals and customer locations. Most people, I think, anymore are accepting of tattoos, uh, but too many still aren't, and they can, you know, they can give the wrong impression to some people. You know, it's just the way it is. And you know, I say this, guys, and I've I've got my own tattoos. You know, we've so we've all got whatever. Um, but when you're at a customer location, when you're at a terminal, cover them up, especially especially if the tattoo represents something vulgar or has profanity. You know, I know a lot of people like to put certain things across their knuckles. Okay, If you have that, that's your business. But it is your business. And you don't want that to reflect back on the company that you're driving for. So get a pair of driving gloves. You know, those short-knuckled, open-fingered driving gloves. You know, that'll cover that. You know, nice and easy, still looks decent. Um, but yes, definitely, if you have something that's vulgar um, in any way, shape, or form, cover that before you go into a customer or into a terminal. Um, like it or not, guys, I mean, these are just things that I think are pretty much um, universal when it comes to proper attire for being in business. Uh, and I think that uh, most people most companies anymore actually uh, require you to represent their company um, in some of these ways that I just discussed. But attitude and hygiene are the two main things I want you guys to take from this. You know, always keep yourself clean. Always go in with a good attitude. Um, anytime that you go in with a good attitude, you're going to up your chances of having a good experience no matter where you're at or what you're doing. So that's my take on re representing and presenting yourself properly in business. So that's all for today's uh, episode, and I will catch you next time. Between now and then, you keep the shiny side up, keep the greasy side down, and we'll catch you on the flip-flop.